Are you in the process of remodeling or redecorating your bathroom and you're wanting some elegant tips on how to store some of your bathroom items? Well, hi, my name is Tamala, and you're watching Designing with Hope on Design from Louisville, Texas. In this web episode, I'm going to share with you some elegant ways in which you can decorate and also store some of your bathroom items. So let's get started. Okay guys, the first area I want to talk about is this shelving unit. I picked up this shelving unit from Ikea and I absolutely love Ikea because they always offer great uh, shelving units like this at such wonderful prices. And what I love the most about this shelving unit is that it's small enough to fit in this area and it came with glass shelving as well as the extra storage um, area at the bottom. Now I first want to talk about this box. I got this box from Home Goods and I absolutely fell in love with it because it has that mother of the pearl look and this gorgeous blue color that I'm incorporating throughout my home. Now coming down to the first shelf, I love decorating with the apothecary jars and they're perfect for storage. And what I did here, I just used these apothecary jars to store my cotton balls, makeup sponges, and also my Q-tips. Now coming down to the next shelf, I just took a simple glass plate and I placed my perfume bottles on top of the plate. And down to the next shelf, I just got this cute little bowl and inside that bowl, I keep all of my rubber bands. So when I get ready to go to the gym, I can pull my hair up. And on the next shelf, I just took another glass plate and I put all of my perfume body lotions on the plate as well. And then down there, it's just an extra um, area for storage. Now, I want to share, uh, share with you guys something what I did. In our master bathroom, we have two dressing area closets. And so what I did, I just found these cute signs. They were white, and um, I just did a decorative glaze over it just to give them a little bit more presence in the space and it wouldn't blend in with the doors. But of course, that's my closet. And then over here is, and you see my robe hanging, over here, that says his, so that's my husband's closet. And so I thought that was so cute and it, and it just brought some, you know, some whimsy to the space. So like I said, this is the first area that I wanted to share you, uh, with you guys on how you can have some elegant storage in your bathroom. Now on to the next area. Now this area I created just to store all of my necessary accoutrements needed for when I'm relaxing in the bathtub. I just got a simple cake plate and on top of the cake plate I just put a mirror and a decorative glass that I put my razors in and then I found that cute little jar at the Dollar Tree and I put all my Epsom salt in there. And that little pump right there is where I normally put all my bath oils. And over here, I picked up that uh, stand from Staples, and it's actually meant to be used to hold receipts. Well, what I got that for, for whatever reason, if I forget to take my rings off before I get into the tub, I can simply just put my rings around that, and that way I don't have to worry about them sliding down the drain or getting lost. So I thought that was a cute and whimsical way to store my rings. So... I was excited about this area and maybe you can incorporate one of these areas into your bathroom as well. Now, like I said, I'm always trying to find simple, fun, creative ways to, um, to create storage, but still keep it elegant, especially in a restroom. And I love an all white restroom, so you're probably um, gonna get tired of looking at all this white, but a white restroom to me just symbolizes clean. And what I did here, I just took another apothecary jar. This one was really big, and I picked this up from Hobby Lobby, and I just simply inserted um, my olive oil bath bars. I keep them in the box so as the bath bars won't mar up the inside of the jar and then it looks all dirty and, and, and grungy and grungy looking. 
So if you're going to do this idea, don't take the bar soaps out of the box, leave them in the box and then just throw the, um, um, the boxes of soap into a jar. And I think that is so elegant. Now on to the next area. And this next area, I thought this was a great idea. I'm sure you guys probably hate when your soaps sit in all that water and your soap gets all mushy. Well, the only thing I've done here, I just took a simple silver tray and I used some of those smooth river rocks and put it on here. So now when you're done bathing yourself, you can simply place your bar of soap on top of that and you, and you don't have to worry about your soap getting all slimy. It'll stay dry and it'll stay all perfect for you to use on your next bathing experience. And the last area I want to share with you, this is my medicine cabinet. And I'm sure you guys probably have experienced what all medicine cabinets look like. This area can have a tendency to be cluttered with a whole bunch of odds and ends. So I was excited when I was finished organizing this area right here. And what I did here, I just simply took some plain mason jars and I just labeled our names on them. And um, I got the mason jars because they're big enough or if you want to add something extra, like if you want to put your tongue scrape or if you have some special type of toothpaste that you want to use, um, the mason jars are big enough to hold that. And then I also have a jar over there for the toothpaste. And right on the second shelf, I just got one of these little plastic containers just to hold some whatnots. And I always like to keep a box of baking soda just to keep things fresh. And then up here, I just got, again, some decorative glasses. And I just added in contact lenses, cases, because I wear contacts. And you know if you wear contacts, it's so hard to try to find a contact lens case when you need it. And then over there, I just put all the toenail clippers and files. And um, over there, I'll just put some more emery boards because whenever you're looking for an emery board, you're guaranteed not to find one. So I thought that will make it much easier when we're looking um, for things in the medicine cabinet. So hopefully you can get some ideas on how I reorganize mine and maybe you can incorporate some of these ideas into your medicine cabinet reorganization as well. Now guys, didn't you love those tips? Well, I had fun sharing them with you. So don't forget to thumbs up this video, hit that subscribe button, and share this video as well. So if you want Design on the Go, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Hope on Design. I would love for you to like my Facebook page, Hope on Design, and be sure to visit my website blog on a daily basis because I sometimes put things on my blog that I don't put on YouTube. So in closing, decorate your home to tell your story. It's Hope. Bye for now.